Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the legend and the future legend in this fight game. We are the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fight on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, and the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. Then we have Earl the Truth Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC and IBF unified world champion, one of the hottest fighters in the game on everybody pound for pound list, the hottest fighter in Texas, and looking to be undisputed. But Earl Spence came out and let everybody know, fam, that Canelo Alvarez will be undisputed at the lightweight division, and he can defeat Dimitri Bevel and Arthur Betterbeeb. Y'all listen to what Earl had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. Man, I don't know. I mean, Canelo, Canelo do whatever he want to do. <laughs> <laughs> do. Do you think he becomes undisputed at light heavyweight uh, if he has to fight? Obviously, he's fighting Bavo. If he gets past Bavo, do you think he beats uh, Arthur Baturviev? Should he beat uh, Joe Smith? Do you think he becomes undisputed in that weight class? I mean, he can. I think he can. I mean, he, he has a skill set. I mean, it seemed like he got the chin. So, um, you know, I, I think he can do it. When I tell y'all, Earl Spence has the utmost respect for Canelo Alvarez, man. I'm not joking with y'all, fam. So if y'all are rocking with Monty Brown, bro, if y'all are rocking with Canelo Alvarez, bro, then y'all are rocking with Earl the True Spence Jr. You feel me? Mutual respect is every fucking thing, bro. Mutual respect is every fucking thing, bro. And Earl Spence has that mutual respect for this killer right here in Canelo Alvarez, man. The things that Canelo Alvarez is doing is the position that every fighter want to be in. I'm going to say it once again, y'all. The things that Canelo Alvarez is doing is the position that every fighter want to be in. And when you got a fighter like Earl the True Spence Jr. that can stand up and be real with himself, bro, and give that credit to that man Canelo because he deserve it, bro. Man, you can't do nothing but salute that man, dog. I don't care what nobody say, bro. You can't do nothing but salute that man. Now, yes, Canelo Alvarez will be undisputed at the light heavyweight division. Yes, Canelo has the skills to beat Arthur Betterbeeb. Yes, Canelo has the chin to take the power. You understand what I'm saying? Canelo ain't your regular fucking fighter out there, bro. This is a disciplined, legendary killer right here, what we're looking at, bro. This is a special man that we're looking at, bro. He's a generational talent, bro, and we need to respect Canelo Alvarez and enjoy him. You understand? Now, Arthur Better be is a fucking killer. He's a monster. He can punch like a fucking mule. You understand what I'm saying? The man can punch. You can't take none away from him. He can punch. But all of Santa Gozik said, bro, his power is kind of overrated and his boxing skills is kind of underrated. Meaning, if you got a chin, you can take the power. Right, but you got to worry about him setting up the power, working his jab, cutting off the ring, doing things that people don't see. You know, things that can't see to the neck of that man. People just look at Arthur Better Beeb as a puncher, bro. But I see more than a puncher on Arthur Better Beeb. You understand what I'm saying? And all of Zanum Gosick was speaking on that to let people know you just can't look at him as he's just going to go in there and punch your fucking lights out. You got to worry about the other things he can do as well. And Canelo Alvarez will be looking at that, bro. And Canelo will be picking up on that, bro. And Canelo is not worrying about the power because like um, Olazana Gosic said, Triple G is not no pillar puncher. He can punch. Kovalev is not no pillar puncher. He can punch. And Canelo took both of their shots well. Yeah, I say Canelo took both of their shots well. Yeah, so that just shows you the type of chin that Canelo Alvarez has. And when we look at Arthur Better Beeb, as good as I say he can punch, and those little bitty other things he do well, Canelo do everything better than him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canelo does everything better than him, bro. He got power, right? He might have more power than Canelo Alvarez. I give him that. I'm not going to take away what a man does great. I'm not going to strip a man of his powers because then it take away all the credibility that Canelo Alvarez can get for going up beating that man. But when we're looking at the speed, when we're looking at the ring IQ, when we're looking at the footwork, when we're looking at the body punching, when we're looking at the jab, the combination punches. Canelo does it all better, homie. He does it all better. Now, credit, right? You can have all the tangibles in the world. And we all know one punch can change 
the, the fucking landscape or something, right? We all seen it happen in boxing. So we cannot act like Arthur better be don't have an opportunity or a chance to beat Canelo Alvarez because he does, bro. He does. He's a dangerous fucking fighter. Dimitri Bevel is a dangerous fucking fighter. How do we know these things? Because Andre Ward said it out of his own mouth that he want to see Canelo Alvarez stay away from Dimitri Bevel. He want to see Canelo Alvarez stay away from Arthur better be. Those boys are no joke. And what Canelo do? Don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm a savage. I does this boxing shit. I'm dedicated to my craft, and I believe I can be anybody. I believe I can be anybody. You dig me? And that's what Canelo doing. He's going out to be great. So, with Arthur Better Be having an opportunity, yes, it's a dangerous fight. But that would make Canelo Alvarez great. And that would make Earl Spence's statement so very fucking credible. Like he said, Canelo Alvarez is doing things that out of the norm. It's not ordinary what he's doing. Going up weight class after weight class coming down, weight class going up weight class is beating these motherfuckers asses out here. You feel me? Beating they asses and making it look good, bro. Breaking these motherfuckers down, breaking out sockets, knocking motherfuckers out, and motherfuckers looking at Canelo like, God damn, can he be stopped right now? What that boy say on the man? Somebody stop me. You feel me? Canelo is just that guy right now, bro. Like, really, people that game is just doing his credit. The man is doing his thing thing. The man is doing this thing thing. You understand what I'm saying? When we look at Arthur Better Be, um, yes, it's gonna be tough. First thing, first you gotta get past Dimitri Bevel, which I think he will. Um, Arthur Better Be has to get past Joe Smith, you know what I mean? Like um um I said, and I think he will, right? And I think after that, they will go on that man, they will bang it out. Because one thing about Canelo Alvarez, when he says he's gonna do something, he does it. Yeah, one thing about Canelo Alvarez, just like Earl the True Spence Jr., when them boys say they gonna do something, they do it. Yeah, 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 they do it. Canelo said he want to be undisputed at the light heavyweight. Well, he said he might can go undisputed at the light heavyweight. Let me not say he said he wanted to be because, you know, I guess. Oh, Money Brown said Canelo said he wanted to be undisputed. They were asking him to be undisputed. Shut your punk ass up. But Canelo Alvarez said, yes, it's possible that he could be undisputed at the light heavyweight division. Let me rephrase that the right way, quote, unquote, right? And, you know, he want to fight what the better be, bro. He wanted to fight what the better be before he fought fucking, um, um, Sergey Kovalev, but people don't go do their research to know about that. Or the better be team turned down Canelo Alvarez. Yes, they did. I say yes, they did. Canelo Alvarez won the fight. Or the better be before he fought Sergey Kovalev, and they turned him down. You understand what I'm saying? They turned him down. But now, you know, if Canelo get that scrap up off of Dimitri Bivol, and then or the better be get that scrap up off of Joe Smith, it only makes sense for it to happen. It only makes sense for it to happen. And if it make dollars, it make what, my peoples? Yeah. If it make dollars, it make what, my peoples? Makes all the sense in the world, baby. And y'all know Canelo don't never bag down from a good fight. He don't never bag down from a great challenge. And that's why I say people want to shit on him tomorrow. He's not fight Jamal Cholo. He's not fight Demetrius Andrade. He's not fight David Benavidez. But you know what, motherfuckers? He's fighting people that's more dangerous than all three. He's fighting people that's more dangerous than all three. And y'all boys still can't get him as just do. So at the end of the day, everybody, Canelo Alvarez will become the undisputed light heavyweight world champion. Mark Monty Brown words, he will be a two-division undisputed world champion. Some shit that, you know, none of his compadres done, right? And once he do that, that's going to solidify him as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and one of the greatest to ever do it. You dig? And then he go leave off with that shebang bang and go to cruiserweight and become a five-division world champion. I don't give a fuck who he fight at the cruiserweight division after he accomplished uh, undisputed in two divisions. I don't give a damn who he fight. If he become a five division world champion, you step my motherfucking guy as one of the greatest of all time and the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Period, bro. Keep doing your thing, Canelo. EJ, that's why you my dog, bro. Keep giving credit what credit is due and shaming these boys that's out there talking that bullshit and don't know how to do it, dog. That's what make you different than everybody else. That's why everybody rock with Earl the True Spence Jr. And that's what make EJ the king and one of the best in the game right now on everybody pound for pound list because he don't sugarcoat shit and he go out there and he knows when somebody's doing something great and he can acknowledge that without showing no shame or no hate. That's why you should rock with Earl the Spence Jr. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG money on your cash app. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.